Discord CEO Jason Citron was in court, Discord silently removed an AI feature, and guess what? I got some bugs, experiments, and much more in this week's Discord news. So let's start off with the headliner. The biggest Discord moderator of them all, Jason Citron, the CEO of Discord, ended up in court. The Supreme Court. Because it turns out that the Senate requested five big tech CEOs to come to court because of their failures to protect kids online. Now, who are these five big tech CEO individuals that we're going to talk about? Well, in front of me, we have five extremely wealthy people. We have Lizard Man, the ants from every sitcom, the guy from The Walking Dead, a generic white guy, and our Discord mod Jason Citron. Now to understand the hearing or the kangaroo court or the boomer theater that all these people went through, we need to understand Section 230, which is part of the Communications Decency Act of 1996. This thing is older than a lot of you watching this video right now, and yes, I am on Wikipedia, please do not judge me. But basically, Section 230 provides immunity for online computer services with respect to third-party generated content by its users. If I post the source code of a Pokemon game inside of Discord, Discord cannot get sued by Nintendo. No matter how hard I try, it never happens. And that's because of Section 230. Now, this theatrical release of old people talking actually happened on the 31st of January, but the hearing itself was overly political and it was like watching paint dry. Now, I have two choices here. I could either, one, become a commentary channel and commentate this whole entire four-hour hearing, which at the end of it I would probably unalive myself, or we can say both of each other in terms of sanity and time, and instead I'm going to distill down this whole hearing into like three main points that you should probably just care about and get the gist of. So, this hearing talks about a whole bunch of bills that are meant to protect kids. For example, there's something called the Kids Online Safety Act, which, as the name implies, is trying to make kids safe online. But if you spend the painful five seconds of googling these bills, you'll notice that there's a lot of opposition. Like, the Kids Online Safety Act is meant to prevent and mitigate a whole bunch of kids seeing stuff that inflicts anxiety, depression, all this bad stuff stuff, which sounds great, but it's at the expense of your privacy, because how are they going to figure out what you're seeing if they're not tracking every single thing you do on the internet? Oh, and guess what? It doesn't stop there. The issues with the Kids Online Safety Act is also that the attorneys general, the old people of the American politics, would decide what content is dangerous to young people. And considering that some American politics have banned books, which I've seen books kill people in the John Wick movie, so they might have a pretty good point. But considering these old geezers that banned letters on a piece of paper are deciding what content is dangerous to young people, this is a recipe for censorship disaster. And these old geezers, they're trying to push their agenda, because guess what? They get paid by big companies and people via lobbying to push some sort of agenda. Lobbying is the legal form of corruption. And then, on the other hand, we have our five Avengers here trying to stop the internet from being blown up by old people, but our Avengers aren't even the good guys either, because all they care about is making sure that they can't get sued for what people post on their platforms. They don't care about kids. They just don't want to get sued. This whole entire hearing was basically the definition of American politics. It was a kangaroo court. Child safety should not be a political topic. However, this hearing was not just all boring stuff. There's a lot of highlights and funny memes that came out of it. For example, this person on Twitter said the CEO of Discord looks like someone took an Amish kid, shoved a suit on him, and brought him to testify before Congress. The best part about this tweet is that it's also kind of true, because it turns out Big Jason Citrus here did not want to go to court. He probably made the excuse that his carriage broke down or his horse had a bum leg. And Mr. Citron only accepted service of his subpoena after U.S. Marshals were sent to Discord's headquarters at taxpayers' expense. Jason did not want to go outside. And also, I want to point out that while all of this court stuff was going on, uh, Discord was ramping up production as much as humanly possible. For example, in Discord previews, link in the description, Discord finally added their safety conversations for mobile. Conveniently at the time after this dude went to court. And it doesn't stop there because Discord had one loaded in the chamber, baby. They made this tweet about Internet Safety Day, or Safer Internet Day. It's the same stuff, man. Where they made this absolutely beautiful video. Video. Beautiful in the sense that it's animated really well, but other than that, it's basically a nothing burger of Discord saying, yes, we definitely do care about kids. Please, yes, we care about kids. Anywho, that's all you're getting in terms of this Supreme Court hearing, because if I had to do any further analysis, I would rather smash my hot dog with a hammer. So it's time for me to stop pretending to be a lawyer talking about something that you probably are too young to care about, and instead let's talk about a Discord issue. I was playing the best game on the planet, League of Legends. I was killing it. Killing it in terms of making my friends want to kill me because I suck so bad. 
but I was about to launch the biggest nuclear missile on the planet, killing the whole entire team, obliterating them. It was almost a war crime. And just before I pressed that button, I got a notification. My friend sent me a, a picture of a car and my game alt tabbed and I was debating tying a rope around a rafter. So anyways, if you have the problem where if you're playing a game and if you get a message on Discord, you automatically alt tab, what you need to do is go into your little Discord and there's two things you can do. One, you could set your status to do not disturb, which will prevent you from alt tabbing. But if you still want to hear notifications, then you need to go to your user settings, scroll down to, I forgot you can't do this on the browser, but you need to scroll all the way down to game overlay and turn that bad boy off. And once you turn it off, if you get a message, you shouldn't just automatically alt tab. Discord, thank you for the bug. I lost that game, by the way. Discord is genuinely trying to make me just not game and enjoy life anymore. Actually, I'm just kidding because it turns out Discord added more things I can waste my money on in their Discord shop. The Lunar New Year stuff. We have avatar decorations like this fan flourish. I'm just going to go through them. But generally speaking, these uh, first three avatar decorations are pretty mediocre in my eyes. But don't you worry. You scroll down a little bit more and you got some heat. You have a dragon. I'm dragging my nuts. Stop. Restrain. Refrain. We have this envelope and then we have this koi pond, which is genuinely the best avatar decoration I have seen. And yes, I'm one of those white dudes that has the great wave of something as some sort of banner. It was actually my mouse pad, okay? And finally, in terms of profile effects, and everything is $5, by the way, or 6 if you don't have Discord Nitro, we have Big Dragon Boy. Some dragon furry's gonna eat this thing up and just waste all their money. We got Fortune Flurry. Andrew Tate wannabes are gonna use this to say they have a whole bunch of money. And then we have Midnight Celebration, which is just fireworks. Anywho, there goes my paycheck, and I'm gonna use that as a tax write-off because I put it in this video. Now, before I get into the topic of artificial intelligence and sentience, and how I'm probably going to lose my job, I want to talk about a new Discord feature that Discord's working on from Discord previews again, and it's actually mobile backgrounds, where if you're in a chat with someone, you can select different mobile backgrounds, and this applies to every single person in the voice call. I'm not sure if this needs Nitro, but it'd be pretty cool if it didn't. And maybe Nitro to upload a custom image, which would then be abused by a whole bunch of people. Wow, I'm bad at making good ideas. Anywho, it's AI time. Back on March 9th, 2023, Discord added a whole bunch of AI features. We have Quiet, an AI chatbot, we have Automod AI, we had conversation summaries, which uh, had a little bit of an issue I talked about, and whiteboard with AI which basically never made it to the client. However, I was doing my difficult job of reading Discord previews pings because that's just the way she goes when I saw that Discord removed an experiment. 202 Freeform Automod Server Policy. That makes no sense, so I did a little bit of searching, ignore this one here, and I pasted it in, and it turns out there was an announcement when this experiment was released. And when I open up the announcement, we'll notice that if I scroll down, it turns out this experiment is talking about Automod AI. Bye. Believe it or not, I 100% guessed in my previous video that Discord is getting rid of Automod AI, and it seems to be official. Discord is making me more and more depressed by the end of the day. But don't worry, there's always another company to make me a little bit happier, and Top.GG is a company that I'm not a huge fan of, but they did something that is absolutely wonderful. In this announcement, Top.GG is shutting down the Discord server list and DAOs, which is NFT, cryptocurrency, brain rot stuff. And why is this a good thing? Well, one, there's no more crypto bullcrap in this thing. And two, this website doesn't have to deal with advertising crap Discord servers that have the tag dating. A 15 plus server that is dating. Someone remind me to never have kids, please. And finally, let's talk about some nerdy updates and some experiments. The first one is that Discord bots can now have animated avatars. Now to do it, you need to do a patch request so it's not super nice to use, and if you have no idea what you're doing, then you probably shouldn't have a Discord bot. Okay, friends, this conversation isn't productive anymore. I'm locking the thread. Discord users, you guys never disappoint in terms of arguing. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time for me to argue and complain because I'm a Discord user. Discord is releasing a couple of experimental features where if you start an activity, it shows up in your chat. And this is actually a good feature because I have stupid friends that don't know how to use a computer. And when we start an activity, we never start an activity. This is just a hypothetical scenario. I don't have friends. But if my imaginary friends managed to manifest in real life and joined a Discord call with me, if I started an activity, it would show up in the chat, which makes it easier for people to join and see what's going on. And now it's complaining time because Discord released this new feature, which uh, shows up in someone's profile that they're playing a game or doing something and you can react to it or you can reply to it. This seems extremely pointless. And yes, it is a beta feature. That's why it looks not very nice. This is pointless. And now now I'm going to cry about it for 30 minutes. Okay, guys, I just came back from crying. Anyway, sweetheart, just a friendly reminder, never become a tech CEO because you have to go to that kangaroo court and stay there for four hours, which is absolute torture. Wow, I'm an inspirational figure. Anyways, bye-bye. I love you. Mwah!